So lumbar spinal stenosis is a condition that a lot of seniors get. And it could be up to 15%, so it's, it's very common. And it's, it's very debilitating because what it does is it narrows the spinal cord. It's making walking difficult. It's giving you back pain, it's giving you leg pain. It's, it's, a, it's, it's causing an upset to your life to the degree where it, sometimes it's hard to just stand and cook in the kitchen. What people do when they're afflicted with spinal stenosis, a lot of them will like flex forward. They'll always be kind of like bent forward. It's what we call a positive shopping cart sign, right? You go to the you go to the store, you grab the shopping cart, and you bend over, right? And what happens is you you gently flex open the spine, and that flexion usually helps to some degree, and that will help relieve the pressure. But they can't do that all the time. You know, standing, you you get that pain all the time. So what we're going to do is put a spacer in there uh, between their spinous processes, which forces essentially their uh, back into flexion. They won't know that their back is being flexed, but it'll relieve the pressure on the spine. Through research, they show that they have five-year data that shows it, re it, it relieves uh, back pain 65%, leg pain 75%. Uh, it reduces opioid usage by 85%, and patient satisfaction, which is the ultimate test, is uh, shown to be a 95% uh, positive. Patients uh, are looking for answers. I like to explain the problem to them. I like to sit with them, look at their imaging studies, and ex explain to them why they have a problem and what could be done to fix it. But when I could take somebody who walks in and can barely walk, and uh, turn them into being quite functional, that's very satisfying.